Hi, this is David. Today I'm going to show you how to manage a YouTube account. And particularly I'm going to show you how to grant permissions to other users so that they can do things on your account. They can maybe upload videos or view certain content or view some of your settings, whatever. It's granular. You can specify who can do it and what they can do. And in order to do this, I'm going to work with my personal YouTube account, not my GCast account, but this one right here. You can see there's my face up in the top right corner. It's uh, David GR, and I've been just putting up personal videos up here for a long time. Um, and uh, what I want to do is I've, I'm going to grant permissions to this user right here. I just created this Gmail account, and it has to be a Gmail account because YouTube is owned by Google, and Google or does require you to create a Gmail account to access YouTube. You can use other email addresses associated with that to sign in, but that's the bottom line. Uh, so this is one here. It's uh, gcasttest23 at gmail.com, and this account, I created the YouTube channel for them. You can see that there is no content in there yet, but uh, and you can also see that they're able to upload video to their own channel right now, but what I want to do, let me cancel that, is I want to give them permission to upload videos to my channel. How do we do that? Well, go back to my channel here, and click on this icon in the top right, and I want to go to YouTube Studio. All sorts of things you can do to manage your channel in here. Down at the bottom on the left is Settings. I open that up, and from here I want to specify Permissions. Right now I'm the only one with any permissions at all, and I have owner permissions. I am the king of the world inside of this little world here. I can do whatever I want because I created it. But I want to allow others to do that, and I do, to do that I click this Invite button up at the top, and then I put in the email address, gcasttest23 at gmail.com, and then I specify what kind of access do I want to give that person, and you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six different types of access, and they are in order of decreasing power. So a manager is almost like an owner. You can do all sorts of things here. Editor says it can do everything that the manager can do, except you can't manage permissions or delete content. The limited editor says you can do all that same stuff, except you can't view the revenue data. Subtitle editor, you can add, edit, remove subtitles. That makes sense. Um, viewer, you can view everything, so if you wanted to see some of the settings or some of the private files, you could do that. And viewer limited, same thing, but you can't see the revenue data. Um, so, so it's not quite in descending order, but it's pretty good uh, description of each one of these settings. And what I want to do is I just want to give this person the ability to upload videos. And I think the, you know, the, the least control I can give them or the, uh, is editor limited. I'll click on done here. And if I wanted to, I could change that right here. That's not a problem. And you see that it's pending. Uh, so first thing I want to do is a couple things to get out of pending. First, I'll click Save. And then it's going to verify that it's me. So I have some two-factor authentication turned on. I need to enter my password again to prove that it's me. And then it might, sometimes it actually might send a, a message to my phone as well in the Google app. So be prepared for that. Um, in order for this other user to grant access, they're going to receive an email, and they need to respond to that email. And I'll show that to you. I have this in private window open over here. It's in private browser. Here's their email. They just received this, and it says, you've been invited to access David Giard. Uh, do you want to accept it? And I'll say, yes, definitely. That guy's a great guy. He's got a great channel. I want to be a part of it. And there it is. So I can hit close. I can switch channels here. But I'll just hit close for right now to show you that now, let me get, this is a new channel, so it's giving me all these helpful pop-ups. Now, over here, yeah, I can still create, upload videos to my own channel, but I, all, I can also go here and say switch accounts, and I can access this channel right here, the David Giard channels, which is a different one. And now, depending on what permissions I've been given, I'll be able to see certain things. I said editor limited, which does have the ability to upload a video. So now I can come in here and grab a video, upload it, and now GCast Test 23 has permission to contribute content to David Giard's YouTube channel. And that's great. And then uh, Let's say this is a limited time only thing, or GCast23 and David have a falling out, you change your mind, you can always revoke those. And the way we do that is we go back into 
my account and again I'll go right to the top again and, and say from here you want to go back into YouTube Studio back into settings back into permissions and if you wanted to take this user right here you see it'll drop down right here you can change the permissions they have increase or decreases or you can come down here and say remove access because that guy was just abusing his privilege I don't like the stuff he's uploading here it's a confirmation proceed and it might give you some kind of prompt for password it might be a two-factor authentication depending I think because I've done that a couple times it didn't do that this time but now this other person no longer has the ability to access the internal workings of mine so if I come back here and I, I say switch back to GCast test now GCast test is back on their own channel and when I say switch accounts that's they no longer have access to my account so in this video I've shown you how to grant access to your YouTube channel to other users how to change set the access level change that access level and remove access entirely when you change your mind this is David thank you for watching yeah.